going on guys? Have kept 13 here back with another video and today we're going to teach you guys how to create a cartoon version of yourself 100% free no Photoshop. If you do all the steps right you're going to figure you're going to get something like this. Okay so for your picture it needs to be just a person or like maybe yourself against a wall and it needs to be like just a one colored wall and it'll make it a whole lot easier if you're not wearing that same color. <laughs> okay so my example I just took this picture of myself so that's good. Um, something like that. I don't look very happy, but that's okay. Um, so, now you're going to want to head over to Pixlr. Pixlr.com slash editor. Um, I'll have a link in the description if you want to do that that way. And now, open from image from computer. Now, mine's just all the way down here. You can just search for the name of your photo. And... There. My mugshot. Now, if it's just like looking like it's sideways just go to adjustment or my bad image and then rotate canvas 90 degrees clockwise okay now use this tool up here so you can move it and adjust it how you want you have to unlock this first um, currently mine's locked hold on <laughs> okay so now you have your photo it looks okay but now we need to make it look great okay so you're gonna take this tool the magic wand and just click now you're gonna take the color tool and get just a color of your shirt it doesn't really matter which one but it needs to be like kinda like the main color of it hit okay get this fill tool and click okay so it's mainly good oh hello mainly good but now you need your brush. Now your brush is just to touch up the edges that I didn't really get. You can take your wand and just your wand and just click out of here so you're not in that anymore. Okay. Take your brush and I'll do a time lapse of this part because it's kind of boring. But yeah, see you when I'm done with this part. Okay, so now that you have the general color of it, you can try to do your background to do to have whatever color you want. So just do the same thing. Get your wand tool, click the outside, and then if it doesn't get all of it, you can just hold shift and then click again to get more of that color. Okay, so now that we have it, remember just click the color selector. Use your little like eyedropper thing. Get the main color of your wall. Okay. Fill tool. And there you go. You got the fill tool. Um Remember, click out of it to get all the selections out. And now, I'm just going to go back into the time lapse and get back when I finish. Okay, so now we've got the background covered. And now, you can either start with your hair or your skin. Right now, I'm just going to do my skin because, I don't know, I just want to. Okay. So get the main general color of your skin. It doesn't really matter which one, but select it. Okay. Wand. Magic wand. Click. Shift. 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 Oh, so see this, guys? That has my hair in it. You're just going to hit Control-Z to undo that. And now with the fill tool. Oh, up here has my hair, too, but we'll fix that later. Fill tool with that color. Boom. Boom. Got most of it. All right, that looks that looks pretty good, I think. Get that magic wand tool, click out of it, and there you go. You got now. You just use your fill tool. I'm gonna time lapse this part in three, two, one. Okay, so now that we got this, all we have left to do is the hair, and then you're good to go. So just select the main color of your hair. I don't know, just some random one. Hit OK. Get your wand, click shift, and there you go. This one's a lot easier because you've defined all the other colors. There you go. Get that fill tool, and boom. Click out of it, and now do the main filling. Um, I'm going to time this, this last part, and we'll see our finished product. A little Part's completely done. This looks pretty good in my opinion. 
there is some places that you could touch up to make them just look a little more like natural but yeah that's the overall look of it and also here's an extra side note if you want to change the background it's super simple just go over here you can even just go over to the web or the img but yeah all these colors here maybe i want my background to be like a burnt orange take it get that fill tool and boom now all you need to do is take that brush kind of like go around the edges of the hairline then you should be good to go just like as an example of uh, that um i'm just gonna do it time lapse this part again <laughs> Okay, so as you saw there, I kind of like took a little bit off of the whole like color, made it a little thinner, but I mean, it's not very noticeable. You can't really tell the difference side by side. Even, so yeah, that's that. And all you have to do now is go up to file, save, name it whatever you want. I can just call it cartoon me. All right and JPEG, that's good for me. And quality, you want it all the way up because it looks way better, honestly. Okay, okay, save. I just want it saved to my desktop. You could save it wherever you want. Now, save. You've done it, guys. You've created the cartoon you, and if you followed all the steps, you should get something like this. I hope you guys enjoy it. This is gonna have Cap 13. Oh, 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 oh,